Hello, hello, how are you guys? Uh, I'm Patrick Tignem from Cameroon. Uh, born in 14 June 1985 in Douala. And uh, in Cameroon, Douala. Yes, yeah, so I'm a normal human being. I'm, I'm, I'm like everyone else. Nothing special. Uh, I love football from a very very young age like like everyone eh? like every, every normal human being so I decided to play eh? but I start I start like like a striker and uh, I was doing well until I went to the tournament and our goalkeeper for whatever reason decided not to play and the coach decided to put me in the in the polls and I did well. We won the tournament and I get the uh, goalkeeper of the tournament. So it was, it was very nice. I decided to, 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 to stay there and I started working hard as a goalkeeper. I started pushing and yeah, and I started get, getting reflexes of, of the normal goalkeeper. That was that, that how I start and I definitely leave uh, the striker position, but the sad part is that then my my my, my parents they didn't want it at all because they wanted me to go to school and be at that school. Really, that's normal. It's very normal. I understand that. And but I'm, I'm the kind of a person who believes that you can you can succeed whatever you want to do if you believe in yourself. So I decided to play football and. And I give everything in football, and I, I, I really don't, don't regret today. Like I say, it was not, uh, was not easy for me at all. Eh? It was not easy for me because my parents were, they didn't agree with that in the beginning when I was going to start. So, by when they start seeing that thing become more serious with a lot of traveling in Europe and national team, yeah, they start pushing me. It was, it was so nice to see that. So I'm 100% sure that they are very happy to what I become today, what I, I by the grace of God, I managed to, to achieve in my life. So I don't have, I don't have any regret for that. I'm, I'm so happy and I'm proud that I, I try my best to make people around me happy also. No, I grew up with, uh, with a strong character. Huh? Uh, I know I have a strong character. I'm the kind of person who uh, doesn't like fake or lies or disrespect. I, 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 I really don't like that. That's why when I have something to say to someone, I say it. And I grow up like that. So many people didn't understand that. Even my friend, my, when I was young, they didn't understand that. They would say, I'm, I'm, I'm very harsh, I'm, I'm, I'm very... I have a strong character. But now that they are the family men like me, they understand the, 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 the importance of being a, a straight person. You know, and for me, his work helped me a lot, and I, 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 I really thank God for that. That why even now, when I have something to say to someone, I say it. I don't follow the crowd. I follow the the right, the justice. If the whole crowd, the entire crowd, go to the left, but I know it's the wrong side, I don't go there. I rather go to where I think is right. And I fail. It's fine for me. It's okay. So I grew up like that, and. My family was not rich, not poor also, it was a normal family, a Christian family, Jehovah Witness, everything was perfect and yeah. So uh, I have a little accident when I was young or when I was wanted to play football because I wanted to dive very, very high and sometimes I was, <laughs> I was getting injured but uh, yeah, it was nice and uh, overall I, I really don't regret it, huh? what happened today in my life. And, I'm so happy and I show the the, the world South Africa especially that uh, in Cameroon we have uh, we have we have good goalkeepers also. So yeah, I'm I'm happy. First professional contact was was in 2008 eh, with Celtic because uh, in Cameroon we was not in the time professional yet, so I can't call it professional. So my prof my first professional contact was with New Fontaine Celtic in 2008. And it was uh, Jimmy Augusti, Mr. Jimmy Augusti was chairman. So yeah, he gave me opportunity from Olympic Games in Beijing. 
yeah, and I signed. So it became my second family, my 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 my, my, my heart, my, part of my body. Spoon Fountain Celtic, eleven years, three hundred and something games. So yeah, uh, it was my first professional contract, and I, 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 I'm so proud. I'm so proud of what we, we what I did and what we achieved. Uh, I, in Blue Fountain Celtic because uh, people, since they are very wonderful with me, with my family, they welcome us here. So for many years, my kids, all of them are born here. So yeah, everything is perfect. So uh, before Celtic, I didn't get a professional contract. Uh, yes, I have contract, but I can't call it professional because uh, in that time, the one league was not professional at all. So. Now they're trying their best to, to be professional, but for me, when I talk about professionalism, I talk about uh, from 2008 with Blue Mountain Celtic. Now, when I arrived in 2008, uh, my English was, I know nothing about English, even good morning, I didn't know what the meaning of good morning. So, uh, even guide my defense. I couldn't talk to my defense because it was <laughs> why well, I was gonna say to them because I can't speak English. But I uh, thank God because it was very 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 many people, Sergei huh? Mubiala, a Congolese guys, defender, uh, Timothy Batabayre, uh, Patrick Malokazi, Moses Pandil, a lot of people they helped me a lot to 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 to, to take me like part of them. After a week, I was like a part of the family already. So, uh, Mamzo also, Dimi Augusti, they helped me a lot. So, after 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 a week, I start feeling like like I'm at home and it's no pressure at all, and feeling like I'm <laughs> I'm here for many many years. But I was just there for, for I think uh, three four weeks. Eh? So, many, a lot of people helped me. Eh? They helped me. But after that, when I start uh, uh, learning. English and they started teaching me English, my teammate, uh, making a lot of mistakes, but they they're correcting, and yeah. So, if I, I have to name them, I, I spend a lot of time here. So, there are many, a lot of people help me, even supporters. Eh? All of them, they help me to to settle down here in this place, in a beautiful place, Bloomfontein, City of Roses. So, yeah, there are many. Now for 12 years I'm here in South Africa now, I, I'm happy, eh? I'm happy, uh, beautiful country, nice, professional league, everything is perfect, people are nice to, 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 to us and I don't have, we don't have any problem. You can't spend so many years, so many years in somewhere where people don't like you or you don't feel comfortable, <laughs> doesn't make sense. So I spend a lot of years here because like people saying I'm in my second country. And I'm okay, it's good. People are, are being good to me, especially in Bloomfontein. That's why uh, I feel free everywhere I work in Bloomfontein. I'm <laughs> I feel safe, I'm okay. Yes, um, I'm 35 years old. My birthday was Sunday. And I think I can I can still play, huh? because I'm, 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 I'm not the infield player, I'm a goalkeeper. So I, I think I have, I have some time to, 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 to teach football and I think about everything not, not retirement eh? I have to I love football I want to play I don't want any regret when I stop I don't want to be like others when they stop two years back two years later they come back say no uh, <laughs> I'm taking back my boots or my gloves no I want to enjoy till the end when I stop when I decide to stop I stop I don't want to uh, like I don't want to be like other people who uh, just stop for fun or for birds or for what when I decide to stop, I stop. But for now, I'm still in there enjoying myself, and yeah, and everything, everything is fine. I'm working every day, just try to to keep fit, and not easy with lockdown, but I'm trying my best. So I want to give everything I have, and when I decide to stop, I want to stop. With no regret. <laughs> the funny, one of the funniest guys in PSL. Wow. I, I take it like a compliment, eh? because uh, there's nothing wrong with that, because, yeah, I grew up like that, eh? I like seeing people around me laughing, joking, making jokes, talking, it's very important, it's good for health also, eh? because with Corona today, uh, people are serious, I don't know why, 
people don't talk, they can't talk to each other, they don't even want to stay in this corner. For me, it's not, it's not the way to go. So I, work, I make jokes with my kids, my wife, my we grew up like that in my, in my family. So uh, when I go to, I'm in a dressing room, I, I love seeing people making jokes, laughing. That means great confidence, great. Uh, you can see that you no, know, there's something going on here, something positive going on. But when people are like, Serious, scared, like going to the funeral is something for me. The, I don't like it at all. So I, I always make jokes. Even now, when I stay home like this, I think about something. I make jokes. I put it on Facebook just to pe for people to laugh, comment, and talk. It's nice. It's nice. Forgot some uh, a bit about uh, COVID-19 and uh, all other problems in life, like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I make a joke Sunday with my birthday, and. Uh, yeah, people are talking about it, people are laughing, it's nice, I like it. Uh, some others are taking it very, very serious on some social media also. But I like it, it's part of the game, I like it I, I very much. And then I'm, I'm like that, I, I like making people, people must be, must feel alive. And it's not a funeral, eh? God created us to, to be happy. Yes, the world is funny now, but smile is very important. So I like making people laugh, but out of the field, eh? but when I when I go to the field, I, I don't have friends. I want to win. I'm a winner. I want to win everything. Even if I play against women, I want to win. Unfortunately, it's not possible. But I, I love the feeling that I give everything. I left everything in the field, even if I lose. But I'm a winner. I want to win, and I'm like that. Yes. No, as a senior player, the advice I can give youngsters is to keep working, eh? believe in themselves, and believe and work hard. Eh? So work hard, work hard, work hard. You must do extra. You must do uh, what others can do. And when you work like that, you give, you put everything in God's hands. You 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 all only have one one result: success. Nothing else. There's no magic science or I don't know multi things you can put to play football. No, that's not true. That is very really big nonsense. You must work hard, believe in yourself, give everything you have, do a lot of extra, and yeah, and pray a lot. Believe in God and pray. You will only succeed. So, it's nothing much I can give them because I can only give them what I have, what I know, what I did. So, I give them my secret, and for, it work for me. If it work for me, then it can work for them also. You must work hard and, and believe in, in, in themselves. I'm not focused to A, say that, B, C, they are talking, no, 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 no. Focus on your job, work hard, give everything, leave everything in God's hands. Everything will be, I'm 100% sure, perfect for you.